Our next critter loves acorns, trying to get the bird seed from your bird feeder, and chasing each other around your yard. Yep, you guessed it. It's the gray squirrel. You're watching Croto's Critters. Sciurus carolinensis, or more commonly called gray squirrels, can be found in the eastern U.S. to just west of the Mississippi River and as far north as Canada. How about that, eh? Here on Cape Cod, you'll find these medium-sized critters scurrying up trees in your backyard throughout the year. They are gray to light gray with red undertones, though melanism is common in northern populations, where gray squirrels will have a black coat. Males and females are generally similar in size and both have bushy tails. Their front legs have a claw with four digits, while their hind legs have five. These rather sharp claws help them climb trees and gather and manipulate food. The gray squirrel's front teeth never stop growing, similar to a rabbit's, which makes the squirrel adept at breaking into the tough shells of nuts. Squirrels are omnivorous and will eat whatever they can get their little paws on, but some of their favorites include nuts, seeds, flowers, buds, herbaceous plants and fungi, corn and wheat crops, insects, bird eggs, bones, nestlings, and frogs. All washed down with a cool sip of water from a stream or pond. They're gonna need all that food energy too. Gray squirrels build their own nests in high branches of trees or will use natural holes in cavities of trees. In the winter, the males are more active as they will be searching for a female to mate with. While in the summer, the females will be more active, searching for food for their young. Newborns are completely naked except for vibrissae, similar to whiskers around the nose and mouth. Young are cared for by their mother for seven weeks and fully weaned by 10 weeks. The gray squirrel has a keen sense of smell and can find food buried beneath a foot of snow. Although they can be pretty forgetful where they buried their treasure, not to mention that 25% of their buried food ends up being stolen by other critters. Tough luck. Fun fact time. Did you know that related individuals may protect a territory and communicate by vocalizations and postures like tail flicking? These guys are hard to catch too. Being quick and agile, they will run in zigzag patterns to escape predators. They also have a warning call to alert others to predators in the area. That's all for this episode. Join us next time where we'll learn about another interesting animal right here on Crotos Critters.